As of the time I'm recording this, Tuesday, January 21st, 2025, CapCut is working again in the US. But we don't know how long it's gonna remain available for US users, you won't find it in the App Store, and if you canceled your subscription or your App Store canceled your subscription and you want to resubscribe, you may end up paying twice the price. Let's break that all down. This article in Fast Company today explains that President Trump signed an order extending the TikTok ban by another 75 days. Right after that happened, US users Users found that their CapCut apps were working again on desktop and on mobile. What happened there is CapCut flipped the switch, turning it back on, restoring the connectivity to the servers that makes all the fun stuff in CapCut work. So if you already had the application on your phone or computer, you're back in business. And you can once again download the desktop version from CapCut's website. However, if you're a mobile CapCut user and you deleted the app, you won't find it in the app stores to put it back on your phone. So why aren't the app stores putting it back if we have this extension and CapCut itself has turned things back on. Well, according to the article, it's because some experts think Trump's order may not be legal. The law allows for any ban to be paused if the president certifies to Congress that TikTok is making, quote, significant progress to divest itself from ByteDance. The article goes on to say there is currently no evidence that significant progress has been made, leaving the legality of Trump's order in limbo. So if his order granting the extension is determined to not be valid, that would leave the app stores like Apple and Google open to a whole lot of fines, like billions. And a few senators put out a statement on Sunday saying now that the law has taken effect, there's no legal basis for any kind of extension of its effective date. Here's that statement where they say Amazon, Apple, Google, and Microsoft have done the right thing by halting operations with ByteDance and TikTok and encouraging other companies to do the same. Quote, the law, after all, risks ruinous bankruptcy for any company who violates it. Now, I'm not a lawyer. I don't even play one on TV. I'm just trying to share with you the information that I found. The way I understand it is the reason it's not back in the app stores is because the companies that control these app stores don't want to take the risk of hefty fines if this executive order is determined to be invalid. It seems like there's a whole bunch of different directions this could go and that leaves us with the question how long is CapCut going to remain available in the U.S.? Is it 75 days because that's the length of the extension? Well maybe if it gets to 75 days and ByteDance hasn't met the divestiture requirement then assumably that would be the end. On the other hand maybe something's worked out by then and CapCut stays forever. But I think there's another possibility based on the dispute of the validity of the executive order. If that dispute goes to court and the court throws out the executive order then I assume we'd be right back where we were on Sunday with it's just gone. And that of course could happen any day. Or it may never happen. All the focus has been on TikTok and you hear very, very little about CapCut. So who knows, even if a deal is worked out for TikTok, I'm not sure that would apply to CapCut. And as far as information coming from CapCut, if we look at the bottom of this Fast Company article, Fast Company reached out to CapCut owner ByteDance for comment. Switching over to a Newsweek article, it's the same kind of thing. Newsweek has reached out by email to ByteDance for more information and comment. That's pretty much what I'm seeing in the articles about CapCut in this situation. I too have reached out to CapCut with questions via that support email address that they provided when they were down and I have not received a response. All I've gotten from CapCut is this email that says we're back in the US. And interestingly, if you click this help center link at the bottom of the email, it brings you to this seemingly inactive Facebook group that's a community fan group for CapCut that hasn't had any new posts in the last month. The last thing CapCut posted on their X account was on January 18th about contacting them if you were no longer able to access the service. And there's nothing from CapCut in the news channel on their Discord server. Now, another piece of this is a price change that went into effect on December 18th of 2024. This is the email message that I got explaining the change to the subscriptions. Prior to this change, CapCut Pro was $9.99 a month or $89.99 a year, but they added a new tier, CapCut Standard, between the free and the pro, and now the standard subscription is $9.99 a month or $89.99 a year, and CapCut Pro is now $19.99 a month or $179.99 a year. And and it goes on to say that for users with active auto renewal subscription monthly or yearly, your current subscription cost will remain unchanged. I had a pro subscription prior to December 18th, 2024. So my concern, even when CapCut went down about canceling it is I didn't want to cancel and then have to resubscribe if it came back to life and end up having to resubscribe at that $179.99 price to get pro. And I have heard from one person who used the mobile version they purchased through the app store and they said that the app store canceled their subscription. And now when they go to the CapCut website to renew that subscription, it's 
at the higher price. So what's going to happen? I have no idea. In addition to not being a lawyer, I am also not able to see into the future. I share this information hopefully to help you understand what's going on and figure out what your next move is going to be. It's not doom and gloom. The sky is not falling. There's plenty of other video editors out there. We can all continue creating great things even if we don't have CapCut. We might have to do a little bit of learning in another video editor, but that's okay. We'll get through it. Thank you for hanging out with me and I hope you'll join me in another video.